I'm Gina Jacob, the Vice President of Education for the Students Union at UWE, but I'm sure you already knew that. Sadly, for the last time, as this is my last year in office, I'm delighted to welcome everyone to the Student Experience Award 2021. During the ceremony, we'll be celebrating and recognizing the commitment, intentionality, and success of staff and students who have gone the extra mile over the last year to improve in the student experience at UWE Bristol. We have over 15 awards that span from leadership, exceptional teaching, outstanding student rep, and partnership working. Everyone nominated should be proud of the effort and enthusiasm that they have put to ensuring that student experience continues to be the best that it can be. I know it's been a tough year for several of us, but we nevertheless have accomplished a lot and you all should be very proud of yourselves. So before we start, grab a popcorn or a drink, sit back and enjoy the event. Feel free to tweet at us Post your outfits on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag UESE Awards. Hi, I'm Vanille Kruger, the Sustainability Part-Time Officer, and I am thrilled to present the Teaching for Sustainable Development Award tonight. Teaching for Sustainable Development is such an integral part of the UE life. It is you that shape the minds of the future, and we are grateful for all the work you do. The Teaching for Sustainable Development Award is for a staff member who has embraced education for sustainable development. They have ensured that students are given opportunities to, to develop knowledge, skills, and attitudes which support sustainable development. This member of staff inspires students to become sustainability-minded professionals and citizens. This year, five staff members were nominated for this award. Congratulations to them and those who were shortlisted are Jacqueline Barker, Peter Bradley, Anil Kashyap, Patrick O'Flynn. This year's winner has been a key part of the Zero Carbon Framework course by creating and delivering outstanding content that was delivered during Block Zero to students of all years. They have also developed the next section of the course and has been delivering it to a consistent group of 60 students who will then go on to produce their own zero carbon design under their supervision. In addition, they have also been actively supporting other student projects that relate to sustainability. This includes the Passive Pod project and Restoration of Old Buildings project, allowing the students to take the projects further by providing insightful mentoring. They have been particularly instrumental in connecting with students to relevant lecturers and industry professionals, which has proven to be a major bonus for project growth and development. The winner of this Teaching for Sustainable Development Award is Patrick O'Flynn. Well done, Patrick. Hello everyone, I'm Rachel Colley, the Community Manager at the Students Union at UWE. Within my role, I get to work very closely with those students at UWE Bristol who have a real passion for sustainability. Because of this, I am delighted and honoured to be presenting the Contributions to Sustainability Award this evening. In a national survey taken this academic year, 80% of students in the UK want their university to be doing more on sustainability. While here at UWE, 92% of students believe sustainability is something universities should actively promote and incorporate. UWE students' passion for sustainability and taking action to address the climate emergency is evidenced in the strength of our sustainability committee and their campaigns, notably Let's Talk Trash that's just completed, plus the numerous student ideas we have received to continually improve the sustainability performance on all of our campus sites. Four students were nominated for this award. These students have worked tirelessly to embed sustainability and raise the profile of the Students' Union and University initiatives. This year, the shortlisted nominees are Vinique Kruger, Architecture Students Climate Action, UECAM, Monique Tarantula Lyons, Katerina Costa, the winner of the Contributions to Sustainability Award 
is someone who has engaged with students, not just on their course, but also within the wider university community and beyond. They have helped to embed sustainability throughout their course, faculty and the wider university. They have championed the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and have worked with their course team to ensure they are embedded throughout the programme. They have been a delight to work with whilst doing it. This student also holds the part-time officer role for sustainability in the Students' Union and has been instrumental in promoting and facilitating new initiatives. They have secured sustainable changes within the Students' Union, including implementing reusable and biodegradable bags for zero waste shops across the campus sites and working with the Students' Union finance team to create a divestment statement explaining our commitment to sustainable finance. This student represents not only their cohort, but also leads the sustainability committee on their endeavours and campaigns, as well as representing students' voice at the UE Sustainability Board, feeding back to our key stakeholders. This student is passionate, relentlessly ambitious, and their work truly embodies the values of the Students' Union at UE. This year, the very deserving winner of the Contributions to Sustainability Award is Vanik Kruger. Congratulations, Vanik, and thank you for making you a more sustainable environment to live and to learn in. Hello, everyone watching. I'm Basmala El Bushari, Chair of the Student Committee at Equity and the Academic Processes Department Rep for Applied Sciences. I'm so excited to be presenting this brand new award, Teaching for Equalities. As part of the Equality, Diversity and Inclusivity team, I have observed accomplishments related to diversity and equality at UWE Bristol. For example, for International Women's Day program, I had the opportunity to interview Peach's Golden OBA and exploring how women are a force for change through a lens of intersectionality while exploring issues of widening access to opportunity, education, social justice and mental health. Additionally, there are well-being sessions from the equity modules provided for BME students. It has been fantastic to see how UWE Bristol has been striving towards the diversity and inclusivity initiatives this year, not only within the EDI team, but through teaching methods too. The Teaching for Equalities Award recognizes a member of staff who has demonstrated a passion, understanding, or has actively made a significant difference in students in the areas of equality and inclusion in learning, teaching or in the community. This year shortlisted nominees are Fabia Jadar Fisher, Vlasos Sarantinos and Rachel Williams. The winner of this award has developed a welcoming, stimulating and creative model of teaching together with bundles of patience and acceptance. They encourage women to apply for STEM subjects whilst helps address gender equality by being part of the department's Athena Swan self-assessment team. They have also set up mentorships for BME students. They have created a mentoring scheme that helps students transition from university to graduates. Through the involvement on the department's Athena Swan self-assessment team, they initiated discussions across the department on how to respond to the Black Lives Matter movement. This led to developing a workshop for the whole department on the issues that the BLM movement raises in the specific context of higher education in the UK. The work they did on the Black Lives Matter led the head of department to think how the department should lead the university in addressing the attainment gap. They also created a BLM reading group open to anyone in the department and throughout summer 2020. A group of six met fortnightly to cover 
different discussion topics linked to literature on inequality and racism in the UK. After such an incredible year, I'm thrilled to announce that the first ever winner of Teaching for Equalities Award is Fabia Jidar Fisher. Congratulations! Good evening. I am Paul Olomolai, Pro Vice Chancellor for Equalities and Civic Engagement here at UE Bristol. Tonight, I will be presenting a brand new award, Contributions to Equalities. Discrimination on grants of race, creed, gender, or sexual orientation is inhuman and a most damaging experience for anyone so impacted, be it student, staff, or those we meet or have relationships with in and outside the campus. Inclusion is one of the five core values at UWE Bristol, and although we are not yet perfect, we are working hard on this and plan to eliminate every form of discrimination and ensure everyone can be the best they can be and seek to influence others on our collective human journey to respect, honor, and appreciate one another. The winner of the Contributions to Equalities Award will have championed the diversity of our liberation groups, empowering our diverse university community to speak up on what is important. Overall, seven students were nominated for this award. Each of these nominees have taken the initiative to empower their student community to join in, speak up, and be more. Well done to all nominees, and a big thanks from our university for all your efforts, your encouragement, your inspiring others, and for challenging us to be the best that we all can be. Thank you very much. The shortlisted nominees are Sarah Brent, Tiffany Chikwana, Angrad Davis, the Speak Up Society. The winner of the Contributions to Equalities Award has been defined as passionate, driven, caring, and determined. They have taken the lead to reshaping their department and program to ensure it is diverse and that students are taught a decolonized curriculum. They have worked with both students and staff to create the ID Network Lecture Series. This series engaged over 600 students, which enabled discussion around diversity that enhanced the student experience. The success and engagement of students in the ID Network Lecture Series has led to the series being extended, and now the winner has gone out to our alumni to reconnect and to encourage, inspire through a series of other engagements with our students from the equality and diversity perspective. With such an array of fantastic achievements, I'm pleased to announce that the first winner of the Contributions to Equalities Award is... Angara Davis. Congratulations, Angara, on your well deserved win. Well done, and thank you for all your efforts for us all. Thank you, Angara. Congratulations. Hi, everyone. 
For those of you who don't know me, I'm Augusta Chiduma Najafor, the president of the Students' Union for the academic year 2020-2021. And today I'm presenting the Support Staff Award. The Support Staff Award is about recognizing that UB Bristol is made up of a huge community of people who support you during your degree and demonstrates your degree is so much more than what goes on in the classroom. Support staff encourage you to join in, teach you how to speak up and enable you to be more. Congratulations to all those recognized and nominated for this award. Let's find out who's won. This year's shortlisted nominees are Oliver Davey, Rhiannon Davis, Chris Newton and Mandy Reed. The winner of this award was nominated an amazing 16 times by the students who they support, demonstrating the wide reaching impact that they have had this year. They have worked tirelessly from the beginning of the pandemic to ensure that the quality of online and blended learning was exemplary. By applying their technical expertise and experience to help students understand challenging aspects of the course, they have created a supportive environment for the students they assist. They have maintained enthusiasm and passion for helping students learn and engage in the most inclusive way. Thank you for your outstanding effort this year. I am so pleased to announce that the winner of the Support Staff Award is Oliver Davy. Congratulations on your win. We are so pleased you have been recognized for your hard work. I wish you get the time to celebrate. Hello everyone, my name is Oluwa Damlola Rachel Okiyoye and I am the incoming Vice President Education for the Student Union for the year 2021 to 2022 and tonight I'm going to be presenting the Academic Personal Tutor Award. I have been an Academic Personal Tutor myself for a couple of years now and it is a very very rewarding position. It's a very rewarding role that I've gained a lot of skills, I've gained a lot of um, accomplishments from and I'm very happy that this award is being made available to students to so appreciate everything that you know personal tutors do so the winner of the academic personal tutor award would have motivated students to achieve the best that they can and we have gone above and beyond the ordinary to make sure that students achieve the best and have the best study experience possible therefore this award is for recognizing an amazing academic personal tutor who has made student experiences much more um, enjoyable than normal and has been a real partner in students learning. The shortlisted nominees for this position are therefore Laura Castle, Emma Gaskin, Paul Lintot and Robin Williams. This year's winner of the Academic Personal Tutors Award has gone above and beyond to help their students. Despite the difficulties of this year, they have always found time to listen to and help their students. And this includes um, personal issues, responding to emails over the weekend, and including checking student CV. They are friendly, approachable, understanding, and a great asset to you with Bristol. Without this tutor, students have said that they wouldn't believe that they are capable of reaching their full potentials. And this tutor has shown them that this is possible. So now to the moment that we've all been waiting for. Drum rolls, please. The winner of the Academic Personal Tutor Award is Pauline Todd. Congratulations, Paul. Hi, I'm Kaina, the lead department rep for Art and Design. Tonight, I'm here to present the Outstanding Teaching Awards for Faculty of Arts, Cultural Industries and Education. This award is for academics who produce outstanding teaching and learning experiences. They will fully embrace with the latest technology and teaching methods to make their lectures more interesting. They will be inventive and original in their style of delivery to enhance learning and teaching. Using their skill, flair and imagination, an outstanding teacher will be truly inspirational. This year's shortlisted nominees are 
Harry Castor Jeffrey, Timothy Gibson, Will Grant, and Karen Vickers Holtz. This year, the winner of the Outstanding Teaching Award for ACE has been praised by both student and staff for their supportive and understanding nature. They have sparked a passion for writing for those students they teach and foster an inclusive and creative learning atmosphere, even replicating that online. This academic is approachable and always makes the time to talk to students and guide them on their creative writing journeys, helping shape their learning experience. And in the words of her nominators, she's an outstanding teacher. Congratulations to the 2021 winner of the Outstanding Teaching Award for ACE, Harriet Castor Jeffrey. Well done, and I hope you're at home celebrating with us. Hi everyone, my name is Harrison Turpitt, and I'm the lead department rep for the Accounting, Economics and Finance Department. This year I'll be presenting the Outstanding Teaching Award for the Faculty of Business and Law. This year has been difficult for all of us, and the teaching staff here at URI may often go unrecognised from students and for the effort they put in and the difficulties that they face. Therefore, I'd like to thank all the staff for, the, for their persistence with delivering high quality teaching throughout the year because it cannot have been easy. This faculty is made up of many wonderful lecturers who are creative in their teaching methods and inspire their students. They also work hard to create a sense of course community. I'm delighted to be presenting the award which recognises the outstanding lecturers in our faculty. This year, 27 members of, of staff from the Faculty of Business and Law have been recognised for their hard work from staff and students alike. The shortlisted nominees for this award are Carl Garrity, Ian James, Sullen Cars, and Neil Sutherland. The winner of this award was nominated 25 times from students across our program. The winner has been described as caring, charismatic, passionate, and attentive. They create excellent lectures and provide outstanding feedback and support to all their students. They even took to the time to send out over 200 personalised emails at the end of term one to congratulate all of their students for getting through the first term. The enthusiasm of teaching always shines through and they have worked hard to create a thriving digital community for their program. I think this nominator says it best when they describe the winner as not just an astounding and incredible member of staff, but an incredible human being. I am thrilled to announce that this year's winner of the Outstanding Teaching Award for the Faculty of Business and Law and for a second year running is Neil Sutherland. Congratulations Neil and thank you for inspiring the business and management student body. I'm Megan, I'm one of the lead department reps for architecture and the built environment. My name is Mess Rosenthal, I'm the other lead department rep for the architecture and built environment. Together we will be presenting the award for outstanding teaching in the faculty of environment and technology. This year has been really tough on students as well as teachers and it's therefore been great to see how the teaching staff has done an extra effort in adapting to these new circumstances. It's been great to see how all of the teachers have tried their best to let in some sunshine into these dark and difficult months we have had in lockdown. Your effort is truly appreciated and I can only assume it must be hard for you to feel some sort of thankfulness looking onto Blackboard and just seeing uh, black names. Um, but I can assure you that it is really appreciated. So on behalf of all of the students, I will now take the honor of thanking all of the teaching staff for the effort this year. It's been truly appreciated and thank you very much. The winner of the Outstanding Teaching Award will be inventing and original with their style of teaching to enhance learning and teaching. Across the facility, 29 lecturers were nominated. Congratulations. This year's four shortlisted nominees are Aida Apsaparova, Aruna Palipana, Ian Bartam, and the final nominee is Jonathan White. The winner of this year's award has been nominated thanks to their undivided passion and determination to ensure that any student who comes through the department has a positive and meaningful experience. 
They go above and beyond to produce content for online delivery, having recently started a YouTube channel helping to inspire the next generation of geographers, planners and environmentalists. They have created interesting and inclusive webinars and allowing students to have a well-rounded student experience. Their support is unwavering having real welcome students from open days and empowering them all the way up until graduation and beyond. This year, the winner of the Outstanding Teaching Award in fact is Ada at Shopper Rover. Congratulations, Ada. Hi, my name is Rasheen Chaman. I'm one of the representation coordinators here at the Students' Union, and I'm delighted to be able to present the Outstanding Teaching Award for the Faculty of Health and Applied Sciences. Staff within the faculty have been highly praised by both students and their colleagues for the true passion and dedication they've shown over the last year. Always making sure to check in on their students' well-being and morale whilst on placement, with many on the front line and many staff themselves returning to their clinical disciplines and getting back into labs to help the fight against COVID. The faculty have been supporting our fellow healthcare workers, with many members working extra long hours, sometimes into weekends, to ensure that students have always remained the top priority. The Outstanding Teaching Award celebrates lecturers who have consistently produced outstanding learning and teaching experiences. Using their skills, flair and imagination, an outstanding teacher will be truly inspirational. This year, 36 lecturers from the Faculty of Health and Applied Sciences have been recognised for their hard work from students and staff alike. Well done to all of the nominees. The shortlist of nominees for this award are Caroline King, Paul Lintott, Robin Osborne and Amber Phillips. The winner of this year's Outstanding Teaching Award within the Faculty is a passionate lecturer who believes every one of their students has the opportunity to grow to be exceptional in their field. Throughout lockdown, they have been organised and supportive of any concerns their students may have. They have taken the time to create fun and interactive lectures through the use of podcasts, YouTube and videos um, and TV series. They have made the subject accessible for everyone, ensuring that no students feel judged if there are any confusing concepts. One nominator expressed that this lecture makes them feel proud and grateful to study here at UE Bristol. After a wealth of heartwarming nominations, it's my privilege to be able to announce that this year's winner for the Outstanding Teaching Award for the Faculty of Health and Applied Sciences is Robin Osborne. Congratulations Robin, we hope you're celebrating your winners. Lisa Harrison, the Associate Dean for Learning and Teaching and Student Experience for the Faculty of Arts, Creative Industries and Education. And this evening I'm presenting the Outstanding Rep Award for ACE. As many of you know, the ACE faculty brings together the French Ain City campuses. This means our students embody our vision for professionalism and creativity. Our reps are not afraid to speak up and contribute to a genuine collaborative dialogue with staff and professional service teams who support our programmes. Within each faculty, the winner of the Outstanding Rep Award will be highly committed to their role, engage with relevant meetings and maintain contact with their peers, academic staff and the Students' Union. An Outstanding Rep won't just raise issues, they will be committed to finding innovating and sustainable solutions. The winner of this award has made significant contributions to implementing positive or meaningful change at course, department or faculty level. Overall, nine student reps were nominated for this award within ACE, with many receiving multiple nominations. Congratulations to all the nominees. This year's shortlisted nominees are Jasmine Brain, Melody Cummins, Alyssa Neath and Chloe Smith. The winner of this award has been an active member of the department while studying full-time and partaking in their placement. Despite the barriers faced over the last year, this rep has juggled commitments incredibly. They have made time to check in with students who they represent and also the lead department reps, whilst also looking after the health and wellbeing of students who continue to be on placement during the midst of a pandemic. 
Their positive calendar attitude and charisma is sure to put a smile on your face, even online. Their dedication, both at university and their personal life, will take them very far. They've made a very positive impact to their cohort and peers during a tumultuous year. A huge congratulations to this year's winner, Elisa Neath. Well done on receiving your award. Good evening, everyone. I'm Cathy Bennett Smith, the Associate Dean of Learning, Teaching and Student Experience for the Faculty of Business and Law. And I'm delighted to be presenting the outstanding Rep Award for the Faculty. Working with our students to overcome challenges, brainstorm ideas and co-create the learning experience is a vital aspect of the learning community in the faculty. Our student reps have been truly amazing this year, working with us to ensure the quality of the learning experience in very challenging times. A small example of some of the things that they have done include developing, distributing and analysing questionnaires evaluating key initiatives as we move to an online learning context, using the questionnaire data and other sources of data to make significant and insightful contributions at strategic meetings in the faculty. Always solutions focused, our reps have worked with us to co-create effective answers to support students in their learning. Helping us develop new approaches to using technology to support students in their learning and assessment journeys. Our reps have also been instrumental in the development of new student societies and the maintenance of existing ones. Feedback on the learning experience this year has been overwhelmingly positive, with students' performance comparable, in many cases better, than previous years, and external examiners complementary of how the faculty has maintained standards. We've achieved this in collaboration with students, and many of the developments that we have brought in this year will continue into the future. Thank you to all our students, and particularly our reps, for all your efforts this year. We are immensely proud of all of you. This year, 10 student reps were nom nominated for the award across the Business and Management, Accounts and Economics and Finance, and Law Departments. Congratulations to all those nominated. Thank you for your dedication to the student voice and your commitment to working in partnership with us this year. You should feel very proud. We are certainly very proud of you. The shortlisted nominees for this award are William Allwright, Luke Gazard, Sophia James and Danielle Newton. The winner of this year's Outstanding Rep Award for the Faculty of Business and Law has been described as an amazing student rep who is selfless and takes pride in their role. Always going above and beyond this student has supported their cohort's well-being during exams and seeks necessary advice from their course staff to help the students they represent. This student is also a PAL leader who creates fun and structured sessions to assist in students' learning. This student is truly a very deserving winner of this award. I'm therefore very pleased to announce that the winner of the Outstanding Rep Award for the Faculty of Business and Law is... Danielle Newton. Congratulations, Danielle. I hope you're celebrating along with us at home. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jackie Rogers, the Associate Dean of Learning, Teaching and Student Experience for the Faculty of Environment and Technology. I am delighted to be presenting the Outstanding Rep Award for the Faculty. Student reps are a key part of university life in any year. But this year, with the challenges felt by all of the coronavirus pandemic, student reps have taken on an even greater importance. In the Faculty of Environment and Technology, our reps have worked closely with academic staff to ensure that we can gain some understanding of what it's been like to be a student this year. They've also helped us find solutions to issues and problems raised by their student constituencies. They have always done this in a professional way, with partnership being at the heart of their approach. This year has been tough for everyone, but the tireless work of our student reps has meant that UWE has been able to support its students. Now to the award. 22 student reps were nominated for the award within the faculty. 
many of the reps nominated were recognised for their continued efforts to keep spirits high during this time, as well as lobbying to ensure students have access to essential software and technical support. Well done to all those nominated and thank you for your continued hard work. This year's shortlisted nominees are Ella Gregson, Pranjal Gupta, Maisie Palmer and Thomas Reed. The winner of this award was nominated because they have consistently demonstrated a high level of commitment to their role during a very difficult time. They have been a constant for the students and the staff quietly but firmly being reliable, thoughtful and conscientious in their approach. This student never misses a lecture and is always on hand to initiate student interaction and help other students understand challenging concepts. This student identified that a clear communication channel was lacking in the department and created a Discord channel which has proven to be a fantastic resource for students. The enthusiasm and dedication this student has shown is evident to both fellow students and staff. In the words of their nominator, everyone needs a Maisie Palmer. Congratulations Maisie, you have won the Outstanding Rep Award for the Faculty of Environment and Technology. Good evening everyone. I'm Anthony Hill, the Associate Dean for Quality, Learning and Teaching for the Faculty of Health and Applied Sciences. I'm here virtually to presenting the Outstanding Rep Award for the Faculty of HAS. In 2020, everything changed as the world faced and continues to face today a global pandemic. The sheer drive and determination of everyone during COVID-19 has been inspiring and I look forward to seeing what we can achieve together. A total of 19 student reps were nominated for the Outstanding Rep Award. Congratulations to all the student reps who've been nominated and thank you for speaking on behalf of your cohort during this challenging year. The shortlisted nominees are Ollie Jennings, Chloe Mortimer-Stokes, Erin Hammond, Aluwa Damalola Akayayem. The winner of this award has been a student rep since 2018. They've demonstrated valuable leadership skills, always acting professionally in a productive manner during student rep staff forums and programme management committees. The student has also volunteered their time to take place in the development of a communication app, which is being used in hospitals during the pandemic so that staff and patients can communicate more clearly despite wearing the PPE. The winner of this award also writes their own blog about life as a student nurse and how best to prepare for placements and learning at university. They've created a positive digital identity as a student nurse, acting as a role model for student nurses in the years below. This year, the winner of the Outstanding Rep Award for the Faculty of Health and Applied Sciences is Erin Herman. Well done, Erin. Your hard work over the last few years has not gone unnoticed and we are so pleased to recognise this with this award. I'm Katie Lacking, a Senior Policy Advisor in the Student Voice and Academic Policy Team and I'm very pleased to be announcing the winners of the Teamwork Award tonight. Now I'm very lucky to work with so many fantastic teams to improve the student experience. I also work very closely with the Students' Union Representation Team to ensure that students get the chance to speak up and be heard at every decision-making level across the university, which has been very vital get a little bit challenging this year. So it's great to hear how so many teams have been able to adapt their ways of working together and still be able to make such a big difference in so many areas. Now the Teamwork Award recognises students and staff that have worked closely together to make a positive change. The group would have communicated constructively with sharing experience and knowledge to reach a common goal. This year, groups from across the university were nominated and I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate all the nominees and thank them for all their hard work. It's really great to see students and staff working so well together. The shortlisted nominees are the Faculty of Environment Technology International Students Workbook Team, Rachel Sajewska and Abby Leroyd-Smith, the Policing Team, and the UE Living Well team. This year's winner of the Teamwork Award 
has been a prime example of students and staff working in partnership to improve the student experience. Involving a wide ranging group from across the university, the aim of this team has been to equip students to take positive steps to support their own well-being during their time at university and learn the skills they need to take these behaviours into their future lives. The team have worked incredibly hard to ensure the programme they run can be engaging in person and online by providing students the opportunity to engage in healthy lifestyle behaviours such as art on prescription, music therapy and exercise on referral. I am delighted to announce that the winner of the Teamwork Award is the UE Living Well team. Congratulations and thank you for channeling your passion into this fantastic programme. Hi everyone, I'm Evan Botwood and I'm the incoming president of the Students' Union for the year 21-22. I'm delighted to be here presenting the Partnership Award this evening. Partnership is so, so important to achieving um, anything at UE and I know it will be one of my top values um, when I become president. Um, the Students' Union Award for Partnership recognises the brilliant relationship between the Students' Union and members of the university. For this award, the representation team have collectively picked a number of groups who have gone the extra mile, working with the Students' Union to continue to develop and review the representation scheme and ensure it works for students. I'd love to read out all the individual names of the people in these teams, uh, but if we did that, the segment would go on for hours, but just know that you're there. So the shortlist is the Assessment and Feedback Partnership Group, the Decolonising the Curriculum Library Team, Health and Equalities Partnership Group, Learning Communities Partnership Group, and finally, Student Voice and Policy Team. This year, the winner of the Students' Union Award for Partnership have worked in partnership with the Vice President Education on our Decolonising My Reading List campaign which aimed at ensuring that the library collection and reading list speaks to all voices, particularly those that have been traditionally underrepresented in the curricula and on reading lists. This year, this team also created a UE webpage, highlighting the various projects the university is doing to engage students and staff with challenging curriculum decolonialization, whilst also broadening individuals' perspectives on the matter. They've also advised, supported, and trained various staff on decolonialisation, diversity and inclusion, helping them to create inclusive reading lists. This group has gone above and beyond in supporting the UE 2030 strategy on addressing the attainment gap. And so, the winner of the Partnership Award is the Decolonising the Curriculum Library team. Massive congratulations to you and thank you for all of the work you have done and I'm sure you will go on to do amazing work as well. The Leadership Award is awarded to a student who inspires others with their efforts, a lead department member who supports their students while providing an excellent level of knowledge, a leader who combines their ability to listen with the understanding of how to negotiate and influence others, ensuring that student voice is heard throughout the UE Bristol governance structure. Lead department reps are often the face of campaigns within the Students' Union and this year has been no exception. I would like to thank all our hardworking lead department reps for the role they have played in shaping the student experience this year. This year's nominees are Alice Farmer, Vanique Kuga, Abby Leod Smith and Monique Taratila Loins. The winner of this year's Leadership Award is an exceptional student rep. This student has worked closely with student reps and the department management to collectively solve student issues and improve the student experience. During the pandemic, the student initiated and led a survey focusing on student mental health and well-being within the department, which helped to bring to light the issues facing students. This led to the development of specific focus groups to identify key areas for improvement. In our own opinion, this student is an inspirational leader. The winner of this year's Leadership Award is Abby Lloyd smith Well done, Abby, and thank you for your hard work this year.
good evening everyone and a very warm welcome to you all. For those of you that have not met me, I'm Professor Steve West and I'm the Vice-Chancellor of UE Bristol and I'm honoured to be with you here this evening, albeit in a virtual world that we've all learned to live and adapt to. Now, the Vice-Chancellor's Award for Representation is an essential part of what makes this university special. The student voice and feedback from students is critical to the future of the university. And you, in your leadership roles, have been able to represent the student body. You've engaged with them, you've coordinated responses, you've analysed what they're saying, and then you've brought it into an argument and discussion with the university colleagues. You've presented facts and opinions, and then you've worked with us to negotiate and agree ways forward to improve both the learning and teaching, but also the living experiences for our students. A really important role at a really important time. So thank you, whether you've been shortlisted or not, the representation role at this university is really important and I value it and I treasure it because it's such an important part of what helps us get it right for our student population. Now, whether you've been shortlisted or not, as I've said, you've learned skills that will take you into the world confident, competent, but above all, knowing what you can offer employers of the future. The leadership skills that you've learned will be critical to your future careers. So hang on to them, hone them and develop them. So I'm delighted to announce the four candidates who have been shortlisted, and they are Adi Oaken, Adi Amy, Jamie Hully Mills, Monique Kruger, and Anna Mulverhill. So, the winner of this award has taken the role of being a representation in their stride. They take each and every opportunity to speak up on behalf of students. They do not just do this within the programme, but also at a university-wide level. They are conscientious, driven and determined to ensure that the student's voice is heard. They've contributed to many sustainability initiatives at UE Bristol, including having every vote in the student union's leadership race equate to the planting of one tree through the Tree Sisters. And this year, they have been a part of the Academic Community Partnership Group offering insights into how programmes and communities can be enhanced to ensure every student at UWE feels part of that academic community. Moreover, they have represented the voice of the whole UWE Bristol student body at Academic Board. They've engaged, they've stood up, they've been counted and they've made their points very clearly and effectively. The Academic Board is a really important board for the University and this student has ensured that the student voice is right at the heart of all of the decisions that we're making. They're reliable and they genuinely want to work and create a better future for all students. I'm absolutely delighted to announce that the winner of the Vice-Chancellor's Award for representation for 2021 is Vanique Kruger. Vanique, thank you so much for all of the work that you've done over the years. You've been a delight to work with. You've been challenging, but you've also been incredibly helpful and supportive in ensuring that we do the best that we can for our student body. So thank you. Thank you for your work. Thank you for your determination and perseverance. And thank you most of all for making a difference to our student community. Many congratulations. This is very well deserved.
The student and staff response to COVID-19 pandemic has shown how we have come together to support each other during this time and it has been absolutely amazing. I would particularly like to thank staff who have gone above and beyond to deliver an outstanding student experience. And I would also like to thank our students who have been flexible in adjusting with the new way of learning and engagement in the last year. Hence why this year we introduced a new recognition award called the Impact Award. This award celebrates all staff or students at UB Bristol who have persevered throughout the COVID-19 pandemic to strive towards improving the student experience. They have positively impacted the UE community in small and big ways by volunteering, working on the front line in the fight against COVID-19, putting a smile on faces of others or giving hope that there's light at the end of the tunnel. They have gone the extra mile in making sure we take care of one another as a community. For that, we would all like to take a moment to show our appreciation. Please join me in clapping for all the names on the screen. We salute you and you're all truly remarkable. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you for being there for the UE community. We have now come to the end of the Student Experience Award 2021. To all the nominees and winners, congratulations and thank you for making a difference here at UE Bristol. I'd like to take this opportunity to say it has been an absolute pleasure to serve students as the Vice President of Education at UE for two terms. The past two years have taken me on an incredible journey and I appreciate the contributions and support of all staff and students. So once again, thank you all and I wish you all a fantastic year.